decided to go on a journey of digging deep into the idea of acoustic cryptanalysis. It's the idea that you can decrypt data based on sound. It's not new, but hasn't been studied a lot. We embarked on a journey of testing the sound frequencies emitted by digital devices to examine the feasibility of fingerprinting passwords, and we call this password frequency sensing, or PFS. In this lab setup, we see a variety of digital devices under examination, where we have a priori knowledge of the passwords that have been stored on the system. We use a simple microphone and oscilloscope and some open source sound recording software to digitize the frequency produced by a variety of devices. We noticed very quickly that the devices and frequencies are interrelated and we decided to embark on the journey of collecting data. We took our results and applied deep learning, also known as deep structured learning. We first used a cascade of many layers of nonlinear processing units for feature extraction and transformation. Each successive layer uses the output from the previous layer as input. We used supervised learning and implemented classifiers to aid the detection of password characters based on read frequencies of the device. Based on our implemented deep learning classifiers, our lead developer, Xiao Lu Shang, implemented Cerebro. We took the knowledge from the deep learning and built a device we call Cerebro Client that listens to devices and then send data in encrypted form to our cloud service, Cerebrum Cloud. Our implementation was simple and elegant, allowing us to point the Cerebrum client device to a device or computer we have already collected sound frequency data on in order to identify its unique password. Here we have the first iteration of the Cerebrum client. You'll notice the acoustic directors are quite large. This was due to limitations regarding the distance between the Cerebrum client and device under attack. In the end, reducing the size of the acoustic directors and using marshmallows improved the distance. The marshmallow provided to be the optimum material for focusing acoustic waves in the audible spectrum into our receiving transducer. We found that regular marshmallows provided us with a good balance of net air sugar boundaries, NASB, and absorptive properties, thus increasing the functional distance between cerebrum client and the device under attack. Temperature sensors were added to the marshmallow, which provided a means of calibration over a broad temperature range, from zero degrees Celsius to 34 degrees Celsius. Temperatures are probed at the outer radius in four locations at the midpoint of the cylinder, where phase corrections can be applied to acquire acoustic data in the digital domain, resulting in increased focus over operational temperature range. Imagine this technology in the wrong hands. That can lead to a lot of chaos all around the world. So we definitely need to do more research in order to make these technologies more secure. To prevent future attacks, we proposed and designed a new technique uh, that randomizes the noise pattern that's emitted by digital devices through random frequency modification uh, and an algorithm implemented using what we call arbitrary waveform hardware to random number generators. This is often based on microscopic phenomena and what it does is that it generates low-level statistically random noise signals in our case, we use the beam splitter. These stochastic processes, in theory, are completely unpredictable, and they prevent uh, the process of password frequency sensing, as our aim is really always to keep the world a safer place.